with the feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, before we get into this video, it was a lot of comments on my last video. Um, a lot of y'all was, you know, popping your big one. Have at it. I had time that day. I no longer have time. Okay. So whatever it is that you said, I hope it sat right with you. You know what I'm saying? God didn't read it. To the ones that I did read, y'all heard what I said. That's about it. That's really all I got. Um, that's number one. Number two. A lot of y'all are like trying to put care on me. Like, you care about what's going on. I don't. I, I talk about what's going on because that's my job as a journalist. And for those that's confused as to what the job title is, because Google pays me, it's a journalist. Journalists figure out what's going on. They talk about what's going on. They dissect it, and they move on to the next subject. Okay? So here we are, moving on to the next subject. Now, we are about to speak about um, Krishan and these boys who got into it at this damn 20v1. First of all, after listening to the guy who got robbed and then after after um, after Lamar lied, Lamar lied and said he wasn't there. He was absolutely there um, and hearing his story about it as well. And then seeing the role Krishan played in it. I'm going to let y'all know right now. Krishan. uh Krishan has a portion in this because a lot of y'all don't feel like she's wrong, and she is. She should have never showed that location. Now, I understand them boys had beef. Now, that play a lot. That's like 70% for sure. But if Krishan did not show the exact location, and if she did not give an exact time, they might not have crossed paths. And that's a part of it that she did wrong. That was so I don't think we would have had this issue today if Krishan didn't show where the hell she was at. Now, I know. Uh-uh, she, you don't tell her to take accountability. So some of y'all didn't hear it, and that's okay. Take it up with your mama, okay? But to the ones that got that common sense, baby, she played a role in it. Them boys did have issues, and we're going to talk about those issues but had they not known exactly where they were, exact time where they were, we probably wouldn't have these issues today. I just want to put that out there, okay? So with that being said, I want to run this down and talk about it because it's kind of crazy. Then we're going to get into the actual videos, right? So boom, Krishan gets booked by Lamar. Lamar is the bigger YouTuber in this situation, right? So he books her. I think he paid her 30K because Krishan kept talking about how much she got paid. So she gets booked for him. He promotes it. You know what I'm saying? They handling their business. Krishan promoting it too. You know, she playing her part in it because I, clearly she would like the guy to get some damn views. So they promoting it, doing what they do. Boom. Right after the, the 20v1, Krishan gets in the car. And I can't find the damn video. She gets in the car with the bread. I mean, counting 30,000. <laughs> Talk about this change. With her crazy tail self, and basically announced that somebody else was trying to book her for another 20v1. Now, Unghetto, it's another YouTuber that does 20v1s. He has a, a, a contract that he has you sign. And the contract basically says that your ass can't do another video with another YouTuber like this in a allotted time. So it might be a week, it might be two weeks, it might be a month. I don't necessarily know, but he does have a uh, stipulations on that the reason why there are stipulations on that is because it is a uh damn a, um conflict of interest i'm about to say a process of elimination it's a conflict of interest okay the conflict of interest is that i just booked her my video's not even out yet here you are promoting your video blah 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 that is where i feel like lamar was coming from okay also they were friends at one point lamar feels like um Mike is a is a backstabber. He's a, a shysty nigga. He do bookings behind his back. Da da da. I feel like if Lamar wants so much exclusivity, he needs to have contracts in place. Now, say for instance, he does have a contract in place. Krishan signed the shit and did not abide. Okay, she didn't oblige to the to the contract, which it doesn't seem like that because they haven't said that. But I'm just saying, if that were the case, 
then that would be an issue. But I would hope if she did sign a contract that she wouldn't do that. It don't seem like it went that way. It don't seem like it was a contract. Even Mike said it wasn't a contract. But I think Mike was talking about he didn't have a contract because the reason why Lamar showed up is because he he wanted his one because he like, bro, you went behind my back to book Krishan. Mind you, Lamar booked Boosie first, okay? And then Mike booked Boosie right after, okay? So it's almost like he's trying to book the same people he's booking to get the same clout. That's the name of the game. I don't know why Lamar hating, but that's just the name of the game. Lamar get more views. You got more money. What the fuck is the problem, gang? Now, I understand the conflict of interest in the weekend, you know what I'm saying? Or in the week or in the day, whatever. Like, goddamn nigga, as soon as I do a video, you do it. I completely understand that. <clears throat> but at some point, he can absolutely book whoever he wants to book if he can afford it. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to give y'all that breakdown of that and how I felt about the whole situation. I feel like this would have been a tad bit more calm if Krishan did not promote it throughout the whole weekend. But if you're going to book Krishan, you know that's what she come with. And this is the part where I'm trying to tell y'all she do what she want to do. But y'all ain't going to hear that because you didn't hear the part where I held her accountable for uh, going live or, or doing a story and showing her damn location. Y'all didn't hear that part. Okay? But anyway, that is not for me to, to help you with. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all don't understand English, and some of y'all can't hear. All right? But I'm going to say it again. Had she not recorded where the hell she was, maybe we wouldn't have these issues. But here we are, and this is what we got to deal with. So let's talk about the whole situation. I want to start with Mike, the one who um, who hold, his cameras were stolen and everything. Okay? Let's get into it. They expose you, bro. You think you got away with this shit, bro. I got a fucking video shoot with Kashan Rock. You pull up with a fucking blick. Steal all my cameras, steal all my footage after I paid her 15K, my nigga. Nigga got you on camera with you. Got a fucking... Hold up. Now, if Gang wanted his one, because Lamar's in these comments. If you wanted to fight, I think he should have just fought him. I think he should have pulled up. Let Krishan and him get off, do what it is that they need to do. Wait till Krishan leave because Lamar, <clears throat> why are you messing up business for the next people that's going to come or would want to come? Now, nobody's going to want to do this with you because you're not safe. You fucked up the bag for him, you and Unghetto. I know Unghetto is somewhere like, yo, and I don't know who started this shit. I have no idea, but I would be pissed off. Like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Why you got to take his cameras? Like, that's some whole hating bully shit right there. That's crazy. Yeah, let me let me, let me me play the video. Hold up. Let me play the video, bro. He tried to figure out how to play the video this. for seven minutes, okay? But I just want y'all to know, that's so shysty of him to take his cameras. And there go Lamar in the comments. He laughing. How to play a video. Y'all screen record this shit. How to play a video. How to, how to play a video. How to play a video. <laughs> I, I ain't want to bring this shit to nothing. Why niggas repeat nigga. shit fuck over you. and over again? <laughs> fuck you on my mom, man. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah. Fuck you. Yo, fuck you. Ain't that bitch, nigga? Ain't that bitch, nigga? You a bitch, nigga? Hot. You bought 30, nigga. You a bitch, nigga? On my mom, you a hoe, nigga? You a hoe, nigga? You a hoe, nigga? Bitch ass, nigga? Ball head, bitch. Fuck wrong with you, nigga? Ball head, bitch is crazy, gang. Nigga? Fuck wrong with you, nigga? Fuck wrong with you, nigga? You in competition with me, nigga. Stole all my shit, bro. You had blitz and everybody. Uh, Lamar said give him his one. This is Lamar right here, who he's having an issue with. He's in the comments saying give me my one. Hey, fucking head, bro. On camera, bro. Lamar wants his one because he feels like he is doing bookings behind his back. Lamar feels like Mike is doing bookings behind his back. All right, bro. It's good, bro. It's good, bro. Everybody gonna see that, bro. Everybody gonna see that shit, bro. Niggas got you on camera, bro. The police got all that shit, bro. It's good, bro. You really went to my video shoot and flashed guns on me, bro. I took that shit to the police, bro. I took that shit to the police, bro. Now, Lamar, this is one of the biggest mistakes he ever made. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, gang. You might want to go ahead and run him his 15 bands. Give him his footage back. 
fight him and hope that the nigga that got pistol whipped not about to sue you for everything you got. If I was them, I would sue him for everything. First of all, I need 100000 for my camera equipment. I don't give a damn if them cameras was $350. I need 100000 for my camera equipment, okay? I need 250000 for you pistol whipping me in my damn face, okay? I went to see who that young man was, nice looking brother. You done pistol whipped him, now his face all, and I know he ain't looking nice today, okay? He was whooping ass too. I need 250000 for that. And I need the remainder up to a million for my pain and suffering. <clears throat> Let's not forget about the footage. Where my footage? I will let that nigga know I will sue you for every. I have all, bro, I got all the proof. The building got all the proof. If me, the building, and the people that's uh, in it with him as far as the collaboration go, if all of them want to sue him, they can. Do y'all think that's worth it? Everything that he worked for, you about to lose it. I think that this the dumbest shit anybody could have ever done on YouTube. And a lot of niggas do really dumb shit on YouTube. But this, by far, is the dumbest I've seen. Today, at least. It's getting ugly out here, bro. This shit's stupid. It's Dumb good, bro. Think it's a game, bro. Then you, got it on foot. you go in the building. I'm sorry. He 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 just gonna be he upset, okay? You go in a building full of people. This is him. This is him. This whole time he been lying, saying he wasn't there. So since they got his ass on camera, now he's admitting that he's there. And he's saying, I said, let him finish it. Too late, gang. Your homeboy done pistol whipped my boy. Y'all stole my camera equipment. <laughs> and you now you're going to show, now you're going to incriminate your own self. Oh my God, bro. I cannot make this shit up. <laughs> he said, Oh my life, Mike Clout chasing. An incident that had nothing to do with me with him and Elisa or whatever and Sean are the most shystiest people in Atlanta. They they are set up. They don't pay out models after you pay them. They add money on top of the business deals. Uh, they backdoor you uh, to collaborate with people you already collaborated with uh, to compete. Um, he says that he's been threatened by them and uh, they they a scammer. They're scammers as far as their um, casting company goes and shit like that. Nigga, none of this matters because you just incriminated Yo, dumb ass self. He stood on business and said, I ain't do that shit. Right? <laughs> I, I, I'm going through all this shit. He stood on business and said, I ain't do that shit. He, it was like, nigga, prove it. Right? So then the nigga proves it. He got the picture of him outside the building. Then he got the video of him coming in the building. Okay? This is this is the other girls. Um, well, the girls that were speaking to him well. This is a gay boy, but this is a girl. I believe she was the one who was talking to him. Oh, my God. I ain't even going to put the camera on this nigga. But this is the guy who pistol whipped him. This is the video of them walking in. Here it is. Not only did he have him on camera at the building at the time. He also had him walking in. So this nigga smart enough to put on a mask. Hello. But the main character, the one with the most money, the one who got the Anna, the one who will lose everything. They got you walking in the building. 
Oh my God. <laughs> I know I did a lot of dumb shit in my 20s, boy. I know I did. But this is by far some of the dumbest shit. <laughs> they had cameras everywhere. <laughs> so now he got to come out and be like, oh, shit, I'm caught. Uh, I told him to finish it. They about to finish your ass. <laughs> like real shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> like, I'm actually glad God waited to give me some money. I'm not going to lie. Because they do a lot of dumb shit in them 20s nowadays. 30 is one of the best ages to be right now. And even 40. Because the 20s, they are smoking it. <laughs> like, I know they got more money, you know what I'm saying? They got more money. They had way more options than us and shit like that. But, oh, my God, y'all stupid. Y'all stupid. <laughs> so, with that being said, hopefully LaMite got enough sense to sue him. I would take every dollar that I got. To sue that nigga. And I don't give a fuck how long we're in court. You gonna run me? Anything. And if he know where he live, I will run up in his shit. If I, if I decide court, I'm gonna take the court route. If not, and I know where you live, you giving me all my shit back. On God. On God. However we got to do it. However we got to do it. Now, that's some shit we was doing in our 20s. But thank God we didn't have ring cameras and shit. <laughs> it's a gift and a curse to be our age because we was in a crossover with everything, y'all. We was here for Nokia phones. We was here when phones first started. Well, that's a lie. We was here when cell phones first started. Okay. And then mic on live. Okay, I'm about to go to it. We was here when cell phones first started. We was here with the Nokia. We was here with the flip phone. We was here with the sidekick. We was here with the uh black, the what is it, the Blackberry? Bur bl is it Blackberry? Which one was it? I can't think of it. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about? N niggas didn't have cameras on houses and shit. You had cameras on buildings though, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got a camera everywhere. Anyway, we about to end this video because li uh, Mike is live and child, we got to, we got to, yeah, we got to be everywhere today. So y'all let us know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. Me doing a video Love y'all, appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.